Hey, what's up, guys? Wanted to uh, show you my 9 plate system running on 25 volts. Have two uh, 12 volt car batteries. One's a deep cycle and one's just a regular car battery uh, running in series. Um, using jumper cables to connect them, thick 4 gauge wire. One lead is connected to this. This is the negative. Goes up to the cell. And that goes to the two outer plates of the cell. And this is the positive, runs through the amp meter and goes to the positive terminal. Um, cell configuration is uh, negative, three neutrals, a positive, three neutrals, and a negative. Um, it, with it in the water, I measured voltage on the plates and it's 2.24 volts all the way across. Um, so I heard that that's pretty good when it's two volts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook this up to uh, this negative here. Okay, what we have is we're exactly 10 amps. Don't know if you can see it. Probably 10 amps, and uh, we're at 25 volts. Here's a quarter inch inside diameter tubing that runs to the cell. I'm going to go ahead and put it in this container of water. the bubbles. Now this is uh, four cups of distilled water and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. It's a quarter teaspoon, that's it, a little tiny measuring cup. Just using regular distilled water. Uh, pretty good production. Uh, if I put uh, half a teaspoon in, I get one liter in 55 seconds. So this is probably 500 milliliters in a minute. Um, anyways, just wanted to show you that. Uh, I had a lot of bad <laughs> things when I used just regular tap water. Uh, the, what poured the water out and it looked like oil. It was black. So anyways, so that was just straight cold water. It's heating up now and we're already at 13 amps. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, look forward to my next videos. Thanks.